Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back how did it go the beast should trouble us no further well that's a bloody relief so you put down old garm did you yeah sort of atreus your decision to go to asgard after all he's put us through i'll never understand it but i hope you at least came back with something we can use i hope so too come on let me show you what odin's up to Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their vision. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. Yes. This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. But next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well 
Well said, Tia. I believe you just find it. Hey, wait. We're with you. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. They're on here that needs to be dealt with. The hateful. But I can't go there. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form.
We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigbeard. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it'd be a fellow giant. Well... You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. You think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken mm. promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Oh my gosh, no! This is annoying, man. Jeez. Vanaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. He grows. Uh, what? You know what? This excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. So does Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior. Bela. Why was he exiled? Don't have to ask him for a full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Find your watchers! <laughs> <laughs> Stay quiet! Ah. 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 Ah.
up there. <laughs> it's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. The legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Hmm. Think you are. they're sleeping well there you have it the legendary celestial wolves supremely entertaining as promised remember their shrine they didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned and then chased an arrow across the sky right well best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs eh as if that's a perfectly normal thing to say The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. But besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Alka. What the? 
Did it disappear? Hmm. Fitting. Oh, he's... Yes. They know we're coming. Where's this dummy at? I can't hear you. It's like up on this tree. Where is this raven? I see you. I hear you, actually. Hmm. Oh, I see him. That's one raven down. Uh, Empty. Where'd they all go? There's the moon. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. We can get to it from up here. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, boss? Down there. That's gotta be it. Why did I do that? Go! 
That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Oh, actually. Oh, I can go down there. <laughs> yeah, I came from there. Oh, there we go. I can't even go through there. What the hell am I supposed to do? Where I came from. Oh, I see. There's a chain over there. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! A double ambush? Okay. Didn't see that coming. Uh. Nothing around there. There, Alka. She's going up the waterfall. She's still up there. Another ambush. Really? Start trying to charm. They are not smart. I understand that. Exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? <clears throat> Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. 
prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. The hell? Get down there. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Oh, I see. What the? Stupid beast. You like getting some hands. I think we got the moon now. It's cold. Is this? It's from Elarn. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. Are you like that, huh? Keep trying to scare what me and flunk me. Why doing all this? What if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it.
goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate mm. only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Gross. Liking it less now. Not less over here. <gasps> one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. If it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. An army. That'd be cool. Oh. Oh, for hell! Oh. 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 
Oh, you thought you had me, huh? You thought you had me. Hmm, the both of you got your behinds handed to you. Dragon's too. Heavy runic attack. Multiple spears. Ooh, nice. Where am I supposed to go? So, if we report back to Hilda Spini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Can go that way, can go that way, but I can go this way. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossom duck. Hound's prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. 